going on, YouTubes? Welcome to Little Improvements, a YouTube channel that's dedicated to DIYers and home improvers that are looking to do some little improvements around the house that make a big difference. <laughs> well, today uh, we're going to be working on a picture frame college. Oh, collage. We're sticking to our tradition at Little Improvements. Tube socks is a must. So let's take a look at the things we're going to need today. We're going to need frames. We're going to need a hammer. This is a 16 ounce hammer. Be careful. A tape measure. Some blue tape. Some blue painters tape. Some picture hangers. These are 20 pound picture hangers. And then this little guy right here. Made by Ryobi. It's about 15 bucks. I picked it up at Home Depot about a year ago, and it's uh, helped me out with a bunch of little projects around the house, from hanging pictures to even uh, putting tile down. So if you've laid out your stock photos and they're right where you want them to be, you have to kind of adjust for the distance down from the top of the frame that your little hanger's on. So in our case, it's about one and a quarter inches. So we're gonna come down from this point that we, that we like, we're gonna measure this point. We're gonna come down uh, an inch and a quarter to, to get this frame to sit really close to where the kind of original idea was at. So what I'm doing here, first thing is I grabbed a center point on my wall that I wanted to work with. And I went ahead and uh, measured down from the top of the ceiling to get a good point of uh, the stock photo the top of the stock photo here uh, to get an idea of the height of that stock photo. Give me something to work with. I had identified a ha my halfway point here. Um, I use a little bit of painter's tape here and there's a bubble on the bottom of that laser that I can get it pretty close, pretty close to level. And then at that point, I'm just shooting it straight up and then I'm gonna start to make my marks and that's kind of what you'll see me doing over the next little bit is making my measurements, making my marks uh, for the points I need uh, to put my hangers. I'm gonna be measuring out both ways. I'll be doing the same thing, measuring off that first point I made on the, on the uh, just above the baseboard and I'll be measuring to the right and to the left and I'll start to kind of measure out those points, uh, dropping the hangers in. So. It's really good to just get that first point and uh, get the laser going and then you can start kind of measuring out all your all your points from there so as you can see here I got my vertical laser going I measured out all my points uh, including the inch and a quarter that we discussed about earlier one of the things you want to consider is the gap in between the frames in our case we wanted a three inch gap above and below and beside of each frame so we made sure and added that to our distance as we worked our way left and right of that central line. Just using the height and width of the frame and adding those spacings, uh, accounting for the space in between each frame, each frame what we're doing here is just lining out our marks uh, based off of our vertical and lateral lines. You're going to start to get a little T going here. You can see here on the right hand of the screen, that is your vertical and horizontal lines and is going to give you a really good reference point to start dropping in your frame hooks. This is really the fun part, using the laser to just start plumbing everything up. You know, the laser's got the ability to level out, so you know, once you use your points around the perimeter of the collage, it'll start giving you those good T marks where the laser line intersects and gives you a good reference point. All right, so we are done using the Ryobi laser. Overall, it works pretty good. Like I said, I bought this about a year ago. I've used it for some other things around the house. So I kind of had to knock the batteries around a little bit and shake it up. So you probably saw me fiddling with it a little bit. I'm probably gonna have to replace the batteries. I think I've about used it uh, 
use the batteries out. Overall, for something like this for $15, it really improves the, uh, um, the result, in my opinion. I guess we'll find out, but that improves the, uh, the ability to line out your, you know, where you want to put your hangers. Speaking of hangers, let's talk a little bit about what we're using. A company called Ready Nail 20 pound uh, picture frame hangers. And I like these, I've used them before. Uh, they've got this little plastic piece right here in the uh, open space up top. Uh, they work pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and start setting these. Uh, I don't think there's really any trick to these. I'm gonna try to pick a point and match it on each of our uh, location. Um, that's what I'm gonna try to do is kind of try to repeat the process. So using the hangers here, the top of the hanger, we lined up with the vertical line and then just kind of centered it onto the horizontal line. And as you're setting these, they will sink down a little bit, uh, but as long as you're applying pressure and repeating the process at the same location, they should all go down just a little bit the same. As you're reviewing them though, uh, you might notice that one's a little higher than the other, so you know, feel free to go back through, take a look at them, and just tap on it a little bit more if it's going to sink the hanger enough to get your picture where you want it. It's the moment of truth. Starting to hang, uh, hang our pictures up here. It's starting to look pretty good, and uh, overall pretty happy with the way they look. Overall, my wife and I are very excited with the way the project wrapped up and added a lot of contrast to our dining room. Actually made it feel a lot bigger, which was very cool. I recommend this project to any DIYers looking to have fun and make an improvement to a room in their home.